I think globalization really has undermined the state in many ways. I mean, it was always a bit of a myth that the state was a black box. That's the, the kind of theory of international relations known as realism that, that dominated the literature. And people didn't really worry about what happened internally. They saw states as the other image was billiard balls hitting themselves or snooker balls on a table. Um, and states were kind of hard entities that uh, interacted. I think what's actually happened is the state is undermined in the sense that the forces acting on it international capitalism being the absolutely most obvious one. You know, if, if, if a state changes its taxation policy, companies move. We've seen a lot of debate about that in the last 12 months with large multinationals paying very low rates of tax. So the, the state is legally capable of saying, OK, Amazon, OK, Starbucks, go home. We don't want you unless you pay this level of tax. And the company says, fair enough, we'll move. So the state hasn't got the levers to pull to control large areas um, of its activity um, and so it's undermined in that in that kind of situation on the other hand it doesn't mean that people uh, the population um, think well let's ask amazon to deal with this they they focus on the state so domestic political elections are still all about what the state is going to do and therefore you get the paradox of transformation. So states are on the one hand less able to pull the levers, but are more required by their populations to solve the problems that these transnational, multinational forces face.